Hello and welcome to Sweet with Sophie. On this episode, I'm going to be showing you some dandelion jelly. So, that might sound a little weird and kind of disgusting. And there's a fair chance that it might be because I've never tried this before. But we're going to see. We're just going to have to find out. So, what I did was about a month ago, you don't have to do it a month earlier, but I just forgot about it, is take some dandelions and pick a whole bunch, and then you take the petals, like the yellow petals, and pull them out of the green part, because the green part's going to make it bitter, and it's the petals that's going to give it that flavor. And so, what you do with that is you put it in water, and then you just let it, wow, that's boiling, uh, you just let it kind of sit in the water, boiling hot water for a little while, and just let it steep. And then after one day, 24 hours, you pour it into a jar or a container and keep it. And that's your dandelion tea. So what I did to make this, I took the tea and then I mixed the tea with a cup of sugar and one and a half tablespoons of pectin and also a half teaspoon of lemon juice and put it on medium high heat and we've just been letting it boil. So, it's been boiling for about one to two minutes now. So, what we're gonna do is try to skim off some of the foam with a spoon. And we'll put it in this measuring cup. Just gonna get some of that white stuff. Cause we want this jelly to be nice and clear and bright yellow. website that I found this recipe on said that the dandelion jelly tastes like honey. So that's kind of what we're hoping for. It actually doesn't smell bad. The tea itself smelled kind of gross. Like it just kind of smelled like you stuck a dandelion up your nose. But this stuff is smelling pretty good. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of this. But I wonder if maybe we're going to try putting it through a beautiful strainer. Where did I jar go? Let's find a jar. Voila, here's the jar. This might be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, it's working. And now, folks, we're going to need a bigger jar. Because we just filled that one up so much with the jelly. So we'll take another little jar about this size. We'll, uh, now just pour the remainder of our jelly into the jar. Now we'll finish off by scooping even more of that foamy white stuff off. Just get as much as you can. It's not going to really affect the taste, I don't think. I think it's mainly just about the aesthetic and the appeal. And if you're posting your super hip and trendy uh, dandelion jelly on Instagram, you want that camera appeal. So that's it, it's good. So I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit, then I'm gonna put a lid on it and just stick it in the fridge, and we'll see you once it's solid. All right, welcome back to Sweet with Sophie on our adventure of making dandelion jelly. So the jelly has set completely. It only took about three hours in the fridge, and then it was ready to use. So I have an English muffin here, toasted, and we're going to get a nice good helping of jelly and try some on the English muffin. Get a good spread so we can really taste the flavor and really analyze it. A couple other things this would probably be good on would be maybe some biscuits or a stone possibly would be good with this. Alright, first taste. Here we go. That is pleasantly surprising. It doesn't taste exactly like dandelions. Hmm. 
It is kind of floral. It's quite sweet. It does taste a little bit like honey, like the website said, not a lot. But it almost reminds me of apples for some reason. And there's only a half teaspoon of lemon juice in it, but it is quite lemony. Yeah, I'd say that's very good. If you have a whole bunch of dandelions in your yard and you want to invest a good amount of time into making some jelly out of it, I would recommend this recipe.